Hello third graders, welcome back. Today is Wednesday, what was yesterday? And what's tomorrow? Uh, today's Wednesday, April 1st, it's a new month. So you know what that means? It's gonna snow today. Ha ha, gotcha, April Fools. Yeah, you have to play some April Fools jokes on your family members, but make sure that they aren't too mean. Make sure it's out of fun, okay? All right, once again, date is Wednesday, April 1st, and our Nibbling Night Code of Honor, say it with me, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Another beautiful sunshiny day for us, it looks like. I hope you all had a good day yesterday, and I hope you have a very, very nice day today, and hopefully get outside a little bit. And once again, remember that if you have any questions on the matrix that was given to you when you got your uh, bags of things. Uh, there, there was information in there that if you have any questions to tell your parents to email me. Thank you. All right, I'm going to finish the book. You remember from yesterday? Whoops, I don't want it upside down. <laughs> All families are special. And we talked about a couple of, about two or three different families and the fact that they are different in different ways as far as how many people are in a family. Like for example, this one here, there was a ton of people in their family and they had to order a lot more pizzas when they ordered food out which maybe a lot of you are able to do and then we read about someone who adopted a little girl from China and how they went over to get her and then in the beginning of the story you remember it was about a teacher who is her daughter is expecting a baby so they are she's gonna be a grandma so I'm just gonna continue where I left off and just checking where I left off. Yep, here we go. It was Juan's turn. Remember that each one was you know, in the classroom and each one was uh, telling about their different families. My family is medium sized, I guess. There's mom and dad and us kids. We moved into grandma's house when she came home from the hospital. Grandma's much better now, but she still needs us to help her. I love grandma's old house. It has a big court porch and a big backyard. Dad lived there when he was growing up. Let's see, grandma, mom, dad, me, my twin sisters, Jenny and Carla. That makes six people in my family. Next, it was Salma's turn. My family lives in two places, she explained. Grandma and grandpa live in Pakistan. Mom and dad were born there. They came to the United States, I love these maps here, when my brother was just a baby. I was born there, born here. Grandma and grandpa come to visit us every year. Grandma shows me how to make Pakistani foods, like samosas. Grandpa <clears throat> goes to watch my brother's little league games. I wish they would stay in America, but they said they're too old to leave their home for good. We all cry a little when they go, then we can't wait until they come next time. So here's Pakistan. Pakistan, remember in that other story we talked about China? Over here, Iran here, India, the Arabian Sea, Afghanistan is on there too. And then there's their family. Next, it was my turn. There's me, my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother. There's our dog, Callie, too. We used to have a cat, Mama Cat, but she died last summer. Is it okay to say a cat and dog are part of your family, Mrs. Mack? Sure, Robert, Mrs. Mack said. Well, everyone in my family, Mrs. Mama Cat, even Callie, I said. Kevin told us I live with Grandpa grandma and mom just on weekends. When mom comes, she sleeps in the bottom bunk bed in my room. It used to be her room when she was growing up. I love it when I wake up and she's there. I have lots of aunts, uncles, and cousins too. When the whole family gets together, like on Thanksgiving, it's one big bunch of people. The day after Thanksgiving, I always go to the movies with all my cousins. Kind of like a tradition. I don't know if you have traditions at your house, but it's kind of a fun thing you do like every year you maybe go to the movies like they do or you do something special with your family as a tradition. In my family, Christopher told us, my mom and dad got divorced. My dad moved to an apartment, but we still live in our old house with mom. My big brother and I keep most of our things in our house with mom. But we have stuff at dad's apartment too. We're usually over there a couple days a week. That's the way it is when you divorce. Emily raised her hand. I have two families too, she said. My mom and dad are divorced. Then last year, dad got married again to Karen. She's not my mom, but she's really nice. She's my stepmom. 
Karen's kids are my stepbrother and stepsister. It took a long time until we all got used to living together. Now mom is going to marry her boyfriend, Tom. Tom's daughter, Maria, visits us on weekends. We have a good time together. After everyone had a turn, Mrs. Max said, part of living in a family is sharing happy times and sad times. Can you think of some unhappy things that happen in families? Lots of hands went up. The kids talked about when somebody gets sick and the doctor says it's serious, or when a mom loses her job and she can't find a new one, or when a mom and dad argue all the time and they decide to get a divorce. The children feel pulled back and forth between them. Maybe you, some of you have felt that way too. Just have to remember that your mom and dad both still love you. When we walk, or excuse me, when we talked about good things that happen in families, everybody had lots to tell about sending pictures to grandpa and grandma to put on the refrigerator door. How many of you do that? I've got lots of pictures on my refrigerator. <laughs> about our family picnics, sending email to cousins, going to stay with relatives who live far away, building a neat tree house with a favorite uncle. Feeling happy when everyone gets together on holidays or any other time when you get together, maybe a family reunion even. Mrs. Mack told us, when there are bad times, families help each other to feel better. When there are good times, families enjoy them together. The different people in our families all fit together like pieces in a puzzle. You are a very important piece of the picture and of that puzzle. No families are the same. All families are definitely special. Now take some time to think about your family. And, and this might be a little something extra. Maybe you want to write in your journal a little bit, bit about what your family is like and who's in your family and what are some things that you like to do together or maybe some traditions that you have that you do or family reunions that you have or maybe even write about different things and that you're doing each day um, because someday this will be something in history and we'll be able to look back on it and say, oh, I did this and I did this. And maybe you're doing puzzles like they talked about in the book. But whatever you're doing, enjoy it. Enjoy being with your family. Remember, I'm thinking of you and I miss you. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.